So, I just got home. It's 3.20 in the morning. And my phone is in. <laughs> Hello. So, I just had the worst night of my life. I wrecked my car tonight. I left the club like I was at the club with my friends, and I left, and I had to go get gas. So, I was at a gas station. Like, I'm not familiar with that area at all, and I took a left out of the gas station because it really didn't matter which way I went because I didn't know where I was. So, I just kept driving. I was like, I'm just going to drive until I see a sign that I recognize. So, the first, like, interstate that I've seen said, like, 2970. I've never even heard of that before. So, obviously, I didn't take it, <laughs> and... So I kept driving, and I finally seen a sign that said 4085. Okay, um, that's, okay, I know that. And I was, like, just driving, you know, minding my own business. There was no one else on the road, whatever. And then there was this deer standing. It was the biggest deer I've ever seen in my entire life. It was as big as my couch. I'm not even kidding. It was huge. First instinct, swerve like most people would because no one likes to go 70 miles an hour and just plow into an animal standing in the road. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to mess up my car. Because I was like, if I swerve left, I can go on the grass. I swerved left and then I swerved right again and then it was just a big circle and I hit the guardrail from the front and it slammed me and like slung me around and then I hit the back of my car. Then I finally stopped. And then I was like freaking out and I'm trying to turn my car off and it wouldn't turn off. So that really scared me. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So I called my mom. And I was like, oh my God, mom, I just got a wreck. I couldn't open my side of the door like it was all. I called 911. And I got, and she was like, well, where are you? And I was like, I don't know. I tried to explain, like, the roads I took. And she was like, I don't know where you are. And my mom called, so I switched over. I just basically hung up on the 911 lady. Sorry. Some man stopped because I was just chilling on the side of the road. He was like, can I help you? And I was like, can you tell my mom and dad how to like, get here? So he talked to my parents and he stayed with me. He was a really nice man. So thank you, whoever you were, for stopping. And then the police officers got there and asked me like what happened and whatever. And he was like, how did you get here? And I was like, I don't know. But, I mean, I was on the right road to get home whatever. And then he was like, where's your registration? I don't know. Somewhere in my car. I still never found it. And he was like, well, I can just get it from your tag. I was like, that's probably your best bet. So, like, they were trying to help me because my door wouldn't open, so I had to go to the passenger side. So they were, like, holding the door open because I was kind of on the hill and my door kept shutting. So he was holding it and he was looking at my car. I was like, I'm sorry you have to see, like, this mess in my car. It's all, like, chick play bags. <laughs> There were like 20 in there. And he was like, oh, it's okay. Um, there were two cops there. One was doing like the paperwork and stuff, and then the other one was just making casual conversation. He was really nice. Huh? And he was like, he's the one that asked me like how I got there and stuff. And then he's the smart one that said, you should have just hit the deer. I was like, no. But he said, if you need anything out of your car, you should probably get it. And I was like, you mean like everything out of my car? And he said, well, you can get all the other smart right? And I was like, okay. And he was like, just get the things that you need. So, <laughs> out of all the stuff in my car, I had my pocketbook, I had my big kitty pocketbook on my side. Um, as soon as I got out of my car, because my car sounded like it was going to blow up any minute. <laughs> like, it wouldn't turn off, really. And <laughs> so, I had my pocketbook already. And I walked to my car and I was like, oh my god, like I need everything. But the only thing I could grab, I grabbed my Hello Kitty umbrella <laughs> and my pink boots. That's it. That's all I got down in my car. Like, I'm an idiot. But I'm alive. So everybody keeps telling me, like, we can replace the car. We can't replace you. Hope your night was better than mine. If it was, you can tell me how fabulous it was in the comments below. Sorry, this video is probably boring as crap, but obviously I'm not going to sleep because my nerves are shot. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>
comes that sun again 